invertebrates. Secrets revealed. A closer look at the different classes and phylum of invertebrates. Ant is an insect and invertebrate animal that belong to arthropods. Invertebrate animals are animals without backbone, they live in every part of the world. In fact, 97% of all animal species on earth are invertebrates. So far, 1.25 million species have been described, most of which are insects, and there are millions more to be discovered. The total number of invertebrate species could be 5, 10, or even 30 million, compared to just 60,000 vertebrates. Invertebrates come in all different shapes and sizes. Some can be seen only through a microscope. Invertebrates are classified into eight larger groups. Peripherans, nadarians, annelids, mollusks, echinoderms, nematodes, platyhelminths and arthropods, each of which has certain characteristics. The Annelids Annelids are a phylum of invertebrate worms. They are the segmented worms, with over 17,000 known species. Well-known species are earthworms and leeches. Annelids can be found in most wet environments. Some of these species are parasitic or mutualistic. This means they live together with, or inside, another organism. A mutualistic relationship is beneficial to both organisms. Their size varies from under a millimeter to about three meters. The largest known species is the seep tube worm, Lamellabrachia limnesi, which is related to the giant tube worm. Annelids are made of one or more body segments. Each segment has one or more rings. These rings are called annuli, singular, annulus equals little ring. Annelids reproduce sexually by hermaphroditic cross-fertilization. They can regenerate cut-off pieces of their body, unlike sponges, which can come back together if ripped apart. They have a hydrostatic skeleton, a one-way digestion system, and bilateral symmetry. The Nadarians All Nadaria are aquatic, mostly marine organisms. They all have tentacles with stinging cells called nematocysts that they use to capture food. Nadarians only have two body layers, the ectoderm and endoderm, separated by a jelly-like layer called the mesoglea. Most Nadarians have radial symmetry. Most Nadarians have complicated reproductive cycles that include an asexual stage and a sexual stage. Some Nadarians are completely mobile while others are completely sessile, but most have both mobile medusa and sessile polyp stages in their life cycles. The four recognized classes of Nadaria are Hydrozoa Cubozoa Cyphozoa Anthozoa Hydrozoa contains tiny predatory animals which live in fresh water, hydras, 
or marine environments. Most hydrozoa make calcite shells. Some hydrozoa live singularly while others live in colonies. Cubozoa differ from true jellyfish in that they have a primitive nervous system and eyes. Cubozoans are also known as box jellyfish, because in transverse section the bells appear to be square. Tentacles are located at the corners of the square umbrella margin, and the base of each tentacle is distinctively flattened. The edge of the umbrella turns inward to form a rim called a velarium, much like the velum of Hydromedusae. Among the most venomous animals on Earth, they are effective predators and strong swimmers and feed mostly on fish. Their nematocysts are especially potent, sometimes resulting in the death of unfortunate human swimmers who encounter them especially children. Cyphozoa the Cyphozoa are an exclusively marine class of the phylum Nidaria, referred to as the true jellyfish, or true jellies. It may include the extinct fossil group the Canularia, whose affinities are uncertain and widely debated. The class name Cyphozoa comes from the Greek word skiphos, denoting a kind of drinking cup and alluding to the cup shape of the organism. Cyphozoans have existed from the earliest Cambrian to the present. All Cyphozoa live in the ocean. Cyphozoa have a short polyp phase but live most of their lives in their medusae form. There are approximately 200 species of Cyphozoans organized into four orders. Familiar Cyphozoans include Aurelia, the moon jelly, and Cyania, the lion's mane jelly. Cyphozoans live in all oceans, from the Arctic to tropical waters. Some inhabit the deep sea, but most live near the coastal waters. Most are modal animals, but members of the order Storm Medusae are sessile. Cyphozoans exhibit the main characteristics of nadarians. They have radial symmetry and are diploblastic, meaning that their body wall consists of the outer epidermis, ectoderm, and the inner gastrodermis, endoderm, which are separated by mesoglia. They have nematocysts, which are characteristic of the phylum. They undergo alternation of generations, with the medusa form being dominant. Cyphomegesi are the jellyfish with which most people are familiar. Anthozoa the class Anthozoa includes a variety of animals that have polyps with a flower-like appearance. In these forms, the gastrovascular cavity is large. It is divided by walls or septa, which arise as folds from the body wall. These folds, along with the mouth and pharynx, are usually arranged in a biradially symmetric pattern. Anthozoans include sea anemones, a variety of corals, sea fans, and sea pens. The arthropods Any member of the phylum Arthropoda, the largest phylum in the animal kingdom, which includes about 84% of all known species of animals are members of this phylum. Arthropods are represented in every habitat on Earth and show a great variety of adaptations. Several types live in aquatic environments, and others reside in terrestrial ones, some groups are even adapted for flight. They have a major role in maintaining ecosystems as pollinators, recyclers of nutrients, scavengers, and food for other animals. Characteristics shared by all arthropods include An exoskeleton, 
or external skeleton made of chitin and it is covered with a thick protective layer, or cuticle. Highly developed sense organs Jointed limbs, the limbs must be jointed like the joints in a suit of armor, since the exoskeleton is rigid and cannot bend to allow movement. Segmented bodies Ventral nervous system Ventral means in front, so this means that arthropods nervous systems run along the front of their bodies, near their stomachs, instead of along their backs like the spinal cords of animals. Bilateral symmetry This means that the left and right sides of an arthropod are the same, it will have the same number and arrangement of legs, eyes, etc. on the right side of its body as on the left. Six legs or more which are jointed. In fact, their name comes from the Greek words for joint and foot. About 1 million arthropod species have been described, of which most are insects. This number, however, may be only a fraction of the total. Based on the number of undescribed species collected from the treetops of tropical forests, zoologists have estimated the total number of insect species alone to be as high as 5.5 million. The more than 48,000 described species of mites may also represent only a fraction of the existing number. Here are some basic examples of arthropods sorted by the non-extinct subphyla. Chalicerata Myriapoda Crustacea Hexapoda Chalicerata are a branch of the arthropod family tree that, at first glance, may not appear related to each other. This family includes arachnids, such as spiders and scorpions, sea spiders, which look similar to arachnids but have some important differences, and horseshoe crabs, which, despite their name, have important differences from other crustaceans. The term myriapod means many legs so it is not surprising that centipedes, melipedes, and other many-legged creatures are part of this family. Myriapods can have anywhere from less than 10 legs to over 750. That just seems excessive. Myriapods are typically found in forests and other ecosystems where there is lots of decaying plant and animal material for them to feed on. Crustaceans are a family of primarily aquatic arthropods that include lobsters, crabs, shrimp, crayfish, barnacles, and the odd one out, wood lice, also known as pill bugs or roly polies. Unlike their aquatic cousins, wood lice live mostly on dry land and are found in environments such as gardens and forests, where they survive by eating decaying plant and animal material. The term hexapod literally means six feet. It might not surprise you to learn that insects which all have six legs are hexapods. Insects include most bugs with six legs, such as flies, ants, termites, beetles, dragonflies, mosquitoes, cockroaches, butterflies, and moths. There are also three much smaller groups of animals in the hexapod category. Columbula, Protura, and Diplura were all once considered to be insects, but later found to have small differences that set them apart from other insects.
the echinoderms. Any of a variety of invertebrate marine animals belonging to the phylum Echinodermata, characterized by a hard, spiny covering or skin. Beginning with the dawn of the Cambrian period, 542 million to 488 million years ago, echinoderms have a rich fossil history and are well represented by many bizarre groups, most of which are now extinct. Echinoderms are separated into 21 classes, based mainly on differences in skeletal structures. The number of extant species exceeds 6,500, and approximately 13,000 fossil species have been described. Some of these living echinoderm classes include Crinoidea Echinoidea Holothuroidea Asteroidea Ophiuroidea Concentricycloidea Crinoidea is a small class of echinoderms with around 600 species. Many crinoids live in the deep sea, but others are common on coral reefs. In most extant crinoids, primarily the shallow water ones, there are two body regions, the calyx and the rays. Echinoidea comes from the Greek word echinos meaning spiny and includes the sea urchins, sand dollars, and heart urchins. Echinoids are the sister taxa to holothuroidians within the echinozoa clade. Like other extant echinoderms, species in this mobile class primarily exhibit pentaradial symmetry some have evolved bilateral symmetry and use a water vascular system for movement and food capture. Sea cucumbers are echinoderms from the class Holothuroidea. They are marine animals with a leathery skin and an elongated body containing a single, branched gonad. Sea cucumbers are found on the sea floor worldwide. Starfish or sea stars are star-shaped echinoderms belonging to the class Asteroidea. Common usage frequently finds these names being also applied to Ophiuroids, which are correctly referred to as brittle stars or basket stars. Starfish are also known as asteroids due to being in the class Asteroidea. Brittle stars, serpent stars, or Ophiuroids are echinoderms in the class Ophiuroidea closely related to starfish. They crawl across the sea floor using their flexible arms for locomotion. The Ophiuroids generally have five long, slender, whip-like arms which may reach up to 60 cm in length on the largest specimens. Sea daisies are small, circular animals related to sea stars. There are only two species. Sea daisies have no arms, but the circle is rimmed with flat spines that look like daisy petals. The upper surface of the animal is delicately plated. The bottom surface has a mouth frame that leads to a shallow stomach and has a single ring of tube feet. Sea daisies are 0.4 to 0.6 inches, 10 to 14 millimeters, across. They are see-through but not clear, like fogged up glass. These animals have a water circulation system arranged in rings. The sexes are separate.
the mollusks. Mollusk, also spelled mollusk, any soft-bodied invertebrate of the phylum mollusca, usually wholly or partly enclosed in a calcium carbonate shell secreted by a soft mantle covering the body. Along with the insects and vertebrates, it is one of the most diverse groups in the animal kingdom, with nearly 100,000, possibly as many as 150,000, described species. Each group includes an ecologically and structurally immense variety of forms. A Placophora which includes two divisions. Ketodermomorpha or Cotophoviata, and Neomeniomorpha or Solenogasters. Placophora or Polyplacophora. Monoplacophora. Gastropoda. Bivalvia. Scaphopoda. Cephalopoda. Class of Placophora bearing no plates, includes worm-like animals primarily found in benthic marine habitats. These animals lack a calcareous shell, but possess aragonite spicules on their epidermis. They have a rudimentary mantle cavity and lack eyes, tentacles, and nephridia, excretory organs. The taxonomy of the Aplacophora Ketodermomorpha or Cotophoviata and Neomeniomorpha or Solenogasters, comprise a small class of exclusively burrowing, marine, worm-shaped mollusks. They are regarded as representing the earliest offshoot within the phylum. The burrowing habit of the group has resulted in only the cerebrally innervated portion of the Archimolluscan foot being retained as the foot shield, it has also resulted in more general modifications so that their molluscan character was in doubt for a long time. They are found burrowed in muddy sediments in water more than 20 m in depth. They live in a vertical burrow with the anterior end down and the expanded gills at its entrance. When disturbed, the gills are retracted and the animal retreats further into its burrow. They are very sluggish and often remain immobile for long periods, but they can creep slowly using the anterior part of the body. They appear to feed on microorganisms and organic matter, but they do not ingest unsorted sediments. Ketoderms lack a foot and pedal groove. They possess either a nearly or entirely CIC humoral sensory cuticular shield, the midgut is separated into a stomach and glandular digestive diverticulum, serial sets of lateroventral muscle bands lacking, they are dioecious and ketoderms possess one pair of tenidia in the mantle cavity. This shows ketoderma canadense collected from street margarites, Nova Scotia, Canada. Solenogaster, small, worm-like, marine mollusk of the class of Placophora, subclass Neomeniomorpha. Unlike most other mollusks, solenogasters have no shell. The body is covered instead by a cuticle containing many calcareous spicules. Most solenogasters are 2.5 cm, 1 inch, or less in length. The largest is 30 cm long. The animals occur at ocean depths of 30 to 1,800 m, 100 to 5,900 feet. About 240 species are known. Animals in the class Polyplacophora, bearing many plates, are commonly known as chitons and bear an armor-like, eight-plated dorsal shell. These animals have a broad, ventral foot that is adapted for suction to rocks and other substrates, and a mantle that extends beyond the shell in the form of a girdle. Calcareous spines may be present on the girdle to offer protection from predators. Chitons live worldwide, in cold water, warm water, and the tropics. Most chiton species inhabit intertidal or subtidal zones, and do not extend beyond the photic zone. Some species live quite high in the intertidal zone and are exposed to the air and light for long periods.
Members of class Monoplacophora, bearing one plate, posses a single, cap-like shell that encloses the body. The morphology of the shell and the underlying animal can vary from circular to ovate. A looped digestive system, multiple pairs of excretory organs, many gills, and a pair of gonads are present in these animals. The monoplacophorans were believed extinct and only known via fossil records until the discovery of Neapolina Galathia in 1952. Today, scientists have identified nearly two dozen extant species. Animals in class Gastropoda, stomach foot, include well-known mollusks like snails, slugs, conchs, sea hares, and sea butterflies. Gastropoda includes shell-bearing species as well as species with a reduced shell. These animals are asymmetrical and usually present a coiled shell. Shells may be planospiral, like a garden hose wound up, commonly seen in garden snails, or coney spiral, like a spiral staircase commonly seen in marine conches. The visceral mass in the shelled species displays torsion around the perpendicular axis on the center of the foot, which is the key characteristic of this group, along with a foot that is modified for crawling. Most gastropods bear a head with tentacles, eyes, and a style. A complex radula is used by the digestive system and aids in the ingestion of food. Eyes may be absent in some gastropods species. The mantle cavity encloses the tenidia, singular, tenidium, as well as a pair of nephridia, singular, nephridium. Bivalvia is a class of marine and freshwater mollusks with laterally compressed bodies enclosed by a shell and two hinged parts. Bivalves include clams, oysters, mussels, scallops, and numerous other families of shells. The majority are filter feeders and have no head or radula. The gills have evolved into tenidia, specialized organs for feeding and breathing. Most bivalves bury themselves in sediment on the seabed while others lie on the sea floor or attach themselves to rocks or other hard surfaces. The shell of a bivalve is composed of calcium carbonate, and consists of two, usually similar, parts called valves. These are joined together along one edge by a flexible ligament that, in conjunction with interlocking teeth on each of the valves, forms the hinge. Members of class Scaphopoda, boat feet, are known colloquially as tusk shells or tooth shells, as evident when examining Dentalium, one of the few remaining Scaphopod genera. Scaphopods are usually buried in sand with the anterior opening exposed to water. These animals bear a single conical shell, which has both ends open. The head is rudimentary and protrudes out of the posterior end of the shell. These animals do not possess eyes but they have a radula, as well as a foot modified into tentacles with a bulbous end, known as captaculi. Captaculi serve to catch and manipulate prey. Tenidia are absent in these animals. Class Cephalopoda, head foot animals, includes octopi, squids, cuttlefish, and nautilus. Cephalopods are a class of shell-bearing animals as well as mollusks with a reduced shell. They display vivid coloration, typically seen in squids and octopi, which is used for camouflage. All animals in this class are carnivorous predators and have beak-like jaws at the anterior end. All cephalopods show the presence of a very well-developed nervous system along with eyes, as well as a closed circulatory system. 
The foot is lobed and developed into tentacles in a funnel, which is used as the mode of locomotion. A pair of nephridia is present within the mantle cavity. Sexual dimorphism is seen in this class of animals. Members of a species mate, then the female lays the eggs in a secluded and protected niche. Females of some species care for the eggs for an extended period of time and may end up dying during that time period. Reproduction in cephalopods is different from other mollusks in that the egg hatches to produce a juvenile adult without undergoing the trochophore and villager larval stages. Locomotion in cephalopods is facilitated by ejecting a stream of water for propulsion, jet propulsion. Cephalopods, such as squids and octopi, also produce sepia or a dark ink, which is squirted upon a predator to assist in a quick getaway. Suckers are present on the tentacles in octopi and squid. Tinidia are enclosed in a large mantle cavity serviced by blood vessels, each with its own associated heart. The mantle has siphonophores that facilitate exchange of water. The Peripherans Phylum Porifera are the lowest multicellular animals belonging to the kingdom Animalia. The word Porifera mainly refers to the pore bearers or pore bearing species. Based on the embryological studies, sponges are proved as animals and are classified into a separate phylum in the animals. This phylum includes about 5,000 species. Peripherans are pore bearing first multicellular animals. The pores are known as ostea. The peripherans have a spongy appearance and are therefore called sponges. They are attached to the substratum and do not move. They have the ability to absorb and withhold fluids. They were initially regarded as plants due to the green color and their symbiotic relationship with algae. Later, their life cycle and feeding system were discovered, and they were included in the animal kingdom. Characteristics of Phylum Porifera Some of the important characteristics of Phylum Porifera are mentioned below. The cells of peripherans are loosely organized. They are mostly found in marine water. Only a few are found in fresh water. They are either radially symmetrical or asymmetrical. Their body is usually cylindrical. The scleroblast secretes spicules while spongin fibers are secreted by spongioblasts. They have no organs in their body. They depict cellular grade of organization. The body comprises numerous pores known as ostea and osculum. The central cavity is called spongocele or atrium which opens to the outside through the osculum. They reproduce asexually by budding and fragmentation. The nutrition is holozoic. They have neurosensory cells but are devoid of any specific nervous system. They have the power to regenerate the lost parts. The development is indirect and the cleavage is holoblastic. The exchange of respiratory gases and nitrogenous wastes occurs by the process of diffusion. Phylum Porifera is classified into three classes. Calcarea, calcareous sponges. Hexactinellida, glass sponges. Desma spongy. Calcarea. They are found in marine, shallow, and coastal water. Their skeleton is composed of calcareous spicules made of calcium carbonate. The body is cylindrical and exhibits radial symmetry. The body organization is asconoid, psychonoid, or leuconoid. Hexactinellida. They are found in marine and the deep sea. The skeleton is made up of six rayed siliceous spicules. The body is cylindrical in shape and exhibit radial symmetry. The canal system is sicon or lucon.
Desmospongy. They are found in marine or fresh water. The body is asymmetrical and cylindrical in shape. The canal system is a leuconoid type. The skeleton comprises spongin fibers, siliceous spicules, which are monoaxon and triaxon. The Platyhelminthes Phylum Platyhelminths belongs to Kingdom Animalia. This phylum includes 13,000 species. The organisms are also known as flapworms. These are achylomates and they include many free-living and parasitic life forms. Members of this phylum range in size from a single-celled organism to around 2 to 3 feet long. Platy helminths have the following important characteristics. 1. They are triploblastic, achylomate, and bilaterally symmetrical. 2. They may be free-living or parasites. 3. The body has a soft covering with or without cilia. 4. Their body is dorsoventrally flattened without any segments and appears like a leaf. 5. They are devoid of the anus and circulatory system but has a mouth. 6. They respire by simple diffusion through the body surface. 7. They have an organ level of organization. 8. They do not have a digestive tract. 9. The space between the body wall and organs is filled with connective tissue parenchyma which helps in transporting the food material. 10. They are hermaphrodites, I. East. Both male and female organs are present in the same body. 11. They reproduce sexually by fusion of gametes and asexually by regeneration by fission and regeneration. Fertilization is internal. 12. The life cycle is complicated with one or more larval stages. 13. They possess the quality of regeneration. 14. The flame cells help in excretion and osmoregulation. 15. The nervous system comprises the brain and two longitudinal nerve cords arranged in a ladder-like fashion. Some of the characteristics that distinguish the organisms belonging to phylum platyhelminths from others are Presence of flame cells Ladder-like nervous system Presence of parenchyma in the body cavity Self-fertilization The classification of platyhelminths are the FF Turbularia Trematoda Cestida Monogenia Turbularia these are free-living organisms found mostly in fresh water. The body is dorsoventrally flattened. Hooks and suckers are not present. Trematoda. Internal parasites of humans and other species. These are mostly parasitic. Hooks and suckers are usually present. Cestida. Internal parasites of many vertebrates. These are exclusively parasitic. They have hooks and suckers. Monogenia. The monogenia are generally ectoparasites of fish species, attaching to the external surface, fins, gills, eyes, and oral cavities of the host animal. A few species can infect the internal tissues such as the blood vessels or digestive tract, 
and several species can parasite as amphibians and freshwater turtles. Monogenians are easily distinguished from the Trematoda and Cestida by the haptor, the posterior attachment organ. Adults can reach a few centimeters in length, but most species are only a few millimeters long when mature. The nematodes Nematodes are the most numerous multicellular animals on Earth. A handful of soil will contain thousands of the microscopic worms, many of them parasites of insects, plants, or animals. Free-living species are abundant, including nematodes that feed on bacteria, fungi, and other nematodes, yet the vast majority of species encountered are poorly understood biologically. There are nearly 20,000 described species classified in the phylum Nemata. Nematodes are structurally simple organisms. Adult nematodes are comprised of approximately 1,000 somatic cells, and potentially hundreds of cells associated with the reproductive system. Nematodes have been characterized as a tube within a tube, referring to the alimentary canal which extends from the mouth on the anterior end, to the anus located near the tail. Nematodes possess digestive, nervous, excretory, and reproductive systems, but lack a discrete circulatory or respiratory system. In size they range from 0.3 mm to over 8 m. The phylum Nematoda is divided into two classes. Adenophoria Cicernantia Adenophoria Adenophoria or Aphosmidia was a class of nematodes, roundworms. It has been by and large abandoned by modern taxonomy, because there is strong evidence for it being a motley paraphyletic group of unrelated lineages of roundworms. Characteristics supposed to distinguish adenophoria are Amphids always post-labial, shape, pore-like to elaborate. Deorids are not seen. Phosmids are generally absent. Hypodermal glands present, excretory, Uninucleate. Simple non tubular excretory system when present. Three caudal glands commonly opening through a spinneret at the tail tip. Male generally has two testes. Caudal ali are rare. Male with supplement glands in a single ventromedian row. Sensory papillae in cephalic region and along the body. Generally there are five esophageal glands. Marine, freshwater, terrestrial. As it seems, a number of these traits are plesiomorphic, and thus unsuitable to discern relationships. Cicernantia Almost exclusively terrestrial nematodes, generally parasitic of plants and invertebrate and vertebrate animals, they are bilaterally symmetrical and non-segmented. Cicernantians vary greatly in size from microscopic to several feet long. The largest known Cicernantian, which is up to 30 feet, 9 m, in length, lives in the placentas of female sperm whales. The body of Cicernantians consists of a flexible cylinder that tapers at both ends, with a pointed tail and a blunt head. They are considered non-segmented pseudocelimates, that is, Creatures possessing a three-layered body that has a fluid-filled body cavity, pseudocellum, between the endoderm and the mesoderm, the innermost and middle tissue layers. Summary Classification of invertebrates and its distinguishing characteristics Invertebrates are classified into eight larger groups. Peripherans, nadarians, annelids, mollusks, echinoderms, nematodes, platyhelminths and arthropods. Invertebrates share four common traits. 
They do not have a backbone. They are multicellular. All the cells have different responsibilities in keeping the animal alive. They have no cell walls, like all other animals. They reproduce by two reproductive cells, or gametes, coming together to produce a new organism of their species. Additional Facts Invertebrates are ectotherms, cold-blooded they warm their bodies by absorbing heat from their surroundings. Most invertebrates live in water or spend at least some part of their life in water. Some groups of invertebrates live on land. Common examples include worms, insects, and spiders. These invertebrates need to have special structures to deal with life on land. Most invertebrates change form as they grow, going through a process known as metamorphosis. Assessment Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer Acknowledgement.